So welcome back once again to What Gear Reviews and today it's another camera field test and today I'm comparing my old phone, which is the Xperia XZ, to this, which is my new phone, the OnePlus 5, which looks really, really awesome. I know these phones are one year apart, so this phone is likely to be better, but in price. This video is going to be interesting for you to see whether the better value for money is with an older phone from last year with really good cameras versus a brand new phone with a new generation of cameras. And yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. And I'm interested to know what you guys think, not just of the picture quality, but also the audio quality, the stability and everything all around. Which phone is better when it comes to cameras? So anyway, I'm going to switch over now to the OnePlus front facing video camera, see how that compares. And then I'm going to take some photographs and some videos. I'm just walking the dog. She's over there somewhere. Where is she? Over there. Um, going to be heading out into the field and uh, it's quite dark in the woods. It's really light in the field. So you're going to see the difference in contrast and stuff like this. But anyway, uh, I'm going to switch over to the OnePlus 5 now. All right, so this is the front facing camera on the OnePlus 5. Let me know if this picture looks better than the Xperia picture. Also the stability and audio quality as well. Um, leave a comment on this video. I'd love to know what you guys think because my opinion might be different from yours. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Anyway, let's carry on into the field. Let's go. You ready, Kaya? You ready? Okay, let's look at this first photo. So the first thing I notice here is the ratio is completely different, but I can assure you both of these are using the out of the box settings. So let's start with the OnePlus picture. You can see it's quite a vibrant picture. There's a lot of contrast in there. And if you compare the tree line on the left to the Xperia XZ on the right, you can see there's a massive difference in the greens that it's reproducing. Now, if we look at the Xperia XZ photo, you can see there's a lot more blues in the sky. There isn't much blue in the OnePlus picture. As for the detail in the foreground, it's quite hard for me to say. So let me know which picture you think is better and why, but anyway, onto the rear facing cameras for a video stabilization test. So I took this picture really close to the ground. I literally took the two phones out of my pocket and snapped the picture really quickly without much effort in focusing or anything like that. But you can see here, the Sony Xperia seems to be getting a lot of detail in those grains on the ground. Whereas if you look at the OnePlus 5 picture, you seem to see a lot more detail in the sky and the tree line seems to be picking out a lot more greens. And if you look at that tree line in comparison to the Sony picture, you can see there's a lot more dark areas in the Sony. So I'd probably say that the OnePlus is better at long range photos, but the Sony seems to be really accurate in those close range areas. And that might be due to the focus processing being slightly different on the two phones. But now let's take a little closer look at the two phones. Right, so let's take this opportunity to talk a little bit about the cameras on the Xperia XZ. Uh, the front facing camera you see here is a 13 megapixel HDR it has really good low light performance. The ISO range on it's really good. So when you're taking those selfies in a nightclub or wherever you are, that front facing camera is going to be pretty good as well. There isn't a front facing flash, um, but it does work really well in low light conditions. And on the back, we have an interesting 23 megapixel camera sensor with triple sensing uh, technology. Now it's pretty unique. This is something that Sony have come up with and it's on the new Xperia XZ Premium. Um, really, really good as well. I'm gonna take some photos now. And also the other thing, it actually records in 4K as well, which is really, really cool. Um, but anyway, let's look now quickly at the OnePlus 5 cameras and I'll explain the difference. So the front facing cameras on the OnePlus 5, that's really shiny, this phone, because it's brand new. I literally just unboxed it. Uh, if you wanna check that video out, I suggest uh, check out the What Gear YouTube channel. But the front facing camera on this is higher than the Sony. It's a 16 megapixel camera, um, no front facing flash. It's gonna be really interesting to see which one of these performs better in low light, because I know Sony boasts a really good ISO range on their front facing camera. And then if we look at the back, they've got a dual lens set up here. 
I believe one of them is 16 megapixels and the other one is 20 megapixels and it combines both of those so you get better um, depth in the photos, hopefully more color um, and sharper pictures all around. It's also got a dual LED flash so that little, that little area there which is usually just one flash, it actually has two in there so the brightness from that should be pretty crazy. Um, if I'm in any dark areas of the forest I'll test that out with the flash on and you can see the difference between the two photos. But anyway, that's the cameras. Um, yeah, let's go and take some photos and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll test out some videos as well. So once again, I stopped and I was looking for something really colorful to take a picture of for you guys. And I literally, once again, took the two phones out of my pocket, snapped this really, really quickly. This plant here was covered in loads of black and yellow caterpillars. And you should be able to see them in these two pictures. And if you look at these two pictures, the OnePlus seems to be picking out really strong greens, a lot of detail in those flowers and you can see those caterpillars quite clearly on the Xperia XZ picture. The plant seems to be much further away, this is probably down to the glass they use on the lens. But you can pick out those caterpillars, I'm not sure if they're showing as much detail as the OnePlus 5. Let me know what you think. So let's move on to a close range camera focus test. Both of the phones seem to perform really well in this one, so let me know what you guys think. Which one won this one? So this picture I took here is really to test the contrast on the two phones, how the two rear facing cameras handle a really strong backlight. So if we look at the Sony picture, we're getting quite a lot of darkness in that foreground. On the tree, we can't really see many colors on it. It does have some texture to it. You're getting a lot of detail in the foreground on the ground. But in the background, the tree line is pretty much black. The tree is pretty much black. Now, if we compare that to the OnePlus 5 picture, you can see there's a lot of color in the tree. It's not completely blacked out. The tree line actually has a lot of green in it. There is a lot of detail in the foreground. I have to say, I think the OnePlus 5 won this one. Let me know what you think. And now let's move on to the sound test because audio is super important to video. Tell them. Hey. Tell him. <coughs> louder. <coughs> Good. Louder. <coughs> Good. How do you experience Z? Tell him, Kai. <coughs> Tell him. <coughs> louder. <coughs> Good. Get it. Ah. <laughs> right, so, so far it's really hard for me to tell which one's performing better because the screens on the two phones are different. One has an LED, the other one has an AMOLED. But I'm going into the woods now. It's slightly darker in there, so I'm going to test some low light stuff on both phones. And again, you know, let me know which one you think is performing better. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's go. So here's a photo in quite a shaded part of the woods looking out into a bright area. And you can see the OnePlus 5 is picking up a lot of green once again. A lot of detail in the foreground. You can see that bright field in the background with not much detail but I think it's a good overall photo. And if we look at the Xperia XZ photo, it's definitely a lot brighter. Sony have really good camera sensors with really good ISO range. But one thing I'll say here is, the field is completely matted at the back. There's a lot of white areas in this picture at the top. I'm not sure which photo I like better. Which one do you prefer and tell me why? And leave that in the comments below. Because your eyes might not see as I see. See what I mean? Right, so that's it. This concludes the what gear camera comparison video between the OnePlus 5 and the Sony Xperia XZ, not the premium. Um, they're really close in price. I think the Sony's around 430 and the OnePlus is around 500 quid if you go for the higher end model. So they're really close in price. We looked at the video quality on the rear facing cameras and the front facing cameras. We tested out some photos in good light conditions and in low light conditions we also tested out some high contrast stuff and the microphones and i want to know now which one do you think is a better investment for camera quality as a youtuber it's really important that i have the ability to take my phone out of my pocket and record some videos knowing that they're going to be good quality and i'd like to know what you guys think um, so leave a comment below and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man and i'll take a one last photo from where I'm sitting now. 
and uh, yeah leave a comment see you in the next one don't be late so this is the last two photos i'll leave you guys to comment on which one you prefer i know which one i like the look of right now but i'm not going to say but uh, i just want to say a big thumbs up to you guys for watching this what gear review if you enjoyed this video as i said before if you just subscribed that means you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man i'll see you guys in the next one to say a big shout out to Basil from B Tech to give me a few pointers about YouTube. He's on around about 100,000 subscribers now, which is really amazing. And he told me that I should interact with you guys a bit more. So, all of you guys that leave a comment on this video, I will be getting back to you and I'm going to try and keep that up in the future. So, thanks once again for watching more gear reviews. If you just subscribed, that means you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. See you in the next one.